Yep. Yep. Oh, hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, just making a list for this thing that I'm going to be talking to you about, so um, making a list. Um, I'll tell you what, just roll the intro and we'll, uh, we'll get into it in two a second. Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Given here today with another video for you. This is kind of the random Monday ramblings coming back into full effect. Again, it is a Sunday evening, so this will be going up Monday morning, early Monday morning, one would hope, hopefully. Um, so, a bit of family time today. Went out with the fam and uh, we went to a designer outlet and um, went and bought some stuff and just had a bit of a wander around and had a nice time together and all that kind of stuff. It was lovely, very very nice. Um, but there are a few things that really piss me off when it comes to the whole retail experience, um, some of which I would like to discuss today and get your opinion on. So um, let's get straight into it. First thing, Women in open toed shoes. Now, I don't have an issue with women wearing open toed shoes. Um, but what I do have an issue with is this. And this. And this. At what point do you think that it is acceptable to wear an open toed shoe when you're walking round? with Gollum's feet, basically, when you look like a witch that um, hasn't had a pedicure in a very, very long time, um, and you also look like you could hang upside down from a, a twigged branch. It, it's, it is minging, it's absolutely minging. Why do you do it? Seriously, I know, no, there's just no excuse for it. I was gonna try and make an excuse then, but there is not an excuse for it. Why? Do you do it? Please, for the love of this, everything that is holy, behave yourselves and stop it. Next one, um, people that wear sunglasses inside. A, you look like a dickhead. B, you don't look cool. And C, there isn't a C. Looking like a dickhead and not looking like cool should be enough. What? You're not famous. You're not trying to hide from the paparazzi. Take the sunglasses off and continue on your day. You nipple. This is a good one. This is something that I saw a couple of times today, which um, made me kind of go, why? Now, we're in... We're in March now, so the weather's just, just starting to get a little bit warmer. I had a cardigan on today. Yeah, I don't care. Roast me. I wore a cardigan today. I had a cardigan on today, but there were guys out today who had short shorts on, out shopping. Short shorts and boat shoes. Had you parked in the parking lot in, in your long boat? Why? Why are you doing that? You look like tit. You look like just an absolute penis. Please, again, stop it. And the fact, I mean, I'm pasty at the back. I mean, I'm pale. I am pale. I go out in the sunlight and I blind people. I could be used to kill off vampires with the amount that I fucking reflect the sunlight. But if you've got drumsticks for legs that are pale and you're walking around in short shorts, boat shoes and no fucking socks when you're not abroad, reevaluate your life, please. Next on the agenda, and this may be slightly controversial, but I'm going to go at it anyways. Um, what's been this sudden increase in mainly men who are fat wearing skin tight clothing? Wearing clothes, wearing them joggers, you know the joggers that are properly skin tight and you're fat so that your belly really sticks out and wearing clothes that are like three sizes too small for you 
Why? Why are you doing it? Again, you look silly, and it's like guys that are like way over the age of 30. They, I don't under, are you trying to reclaim your youth? Are you, I, what? What is the reason? Are you still trying to look cool? Because I'm telling you, you don't. You look like you've gone to the second hand store, thrift shop, to go and get yourself some clothing before you came out. Just because your favourite rapper does it on TV, doesn't mean that you should do it at the same time as well. Actually as well. That kind of leads me on to the next point. When did you suddenly have to become anorexic to fit into fashionable clothing? Now, I ain't the, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, I'm not the smallest guy in the world either, but I have to buy jeans that are like a waist size too big for me because they won't fit the tops of my leg because I dare to go to the gym and exercise. I was, I think it was in a Ted Baker shop and it's, I think the prerequisite for working in a Ted Baker shop is that you must have pencil legs to fit into the clothing. Buying shirts, I can't buy a suit off the rack anymore because my shoulders are too big and it looks stupid. It just looks stupid. I mean, some of these guys, I'm not joking, they must have to put some form of Vaseline and then talcum powder or whatever just to be shoehorn the trousers on and then and then they'll have to put some sort of lubricant around the nutsack area just to stop the chafing it why do you have to be skinny just to fit into nice clothes i mean it really is a, it takes this is why i hate shopping because it takes me fucking forever to find anything because nothing fucking fits shops being too freaking hot in fact the whole Designer outlet being too hot. I mean, I know why they do it. It's that thing. It's it's a psychological thing because the hotter you are, the less likely you are to spend a certain amount of time looking at something before you buy clothes. So if you are hot and you are sweating, then you will just go fuck it. Right, I'll just, just give me that one. Give me that one, Sandra. I'm taking it to the till. We're gonna buy it now. I've had enough. Take it from somebody that that did suffer quite badly with sweating. In fact, I used to sweat that bad that if I wore like a light grey suit, I would sweat completely through the suit. It was highly embarrassing. I had to take barium tablets, I think it was, which stopped me from sweating. But what that did was just dehydrate the fuck out of me. But I have no idea why these shops are so fucking warm. It's ridiculous. It's like they can only employ the raft of the chilly people to work there. Because otherwise you would just melt simply just melt. And then adding into that, which makes it a little bit more annoying, is then the poor customer service that you then get in that shop. Let me give you an example. I'm buying some stuff. Where were we buying it from? Ralph Ren, I think it was. And we were going to the till. The guy demanded that I put my email in to go onto their mailing list, to which when I turned around and went, well, no, actually, I don't want, really want to do that. I don't want to be bombarded with loads of email. Thank you very much, you knobhead. He turned around and looked like I just asked him, asked him, asked him to eat a piece of my shit that I'd been storing up in the hot shop underneath hot lights. And then, moving on from that, he was more bothered about talking to the pretty little assistant that was stood next to him, discussing how that they could get their pen to magnetically stick onto something, rather than focusing on the customer. Which just fucks me off. I'd already spent 20 minutes in the fucking till, because they're that fucking slow, in the queue, sorry, because they're that fucking slow at processing people. My, I was already like this. It, the, 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 you can imagine, I'm hot. Rage is getting higher. Stood waiting in the queue for even longer, Rage is getting way higher. Just customer service doesn't count anything. There was one guy in the Adidas shop who helped me find some trainers and then was lovely to me at the till. I nearly jumped over the till, cuddled him and told him that I loved him. But I, I, I stopped myself. But I did say thank you to him. Uh, yeah, and that's the other what, why is it? Uh, why is it when you go into a shop, you think, right, I see something that I like, and you go, right, have you got that in a medium? And they go, no, we haven't got it in a medium, but we've got one very similar that's in a medium. It just happens to be £30 more expensive. They never have anything in your size, but they always magically have the thing in your size that's 10 times more expensive than what you actually want. I could prove this point by going to buy a MacBook. The one that I wanted, the MacBook that I wanted, they magically didn't have in stock, but they only had one other MacBook in stock 
and it was the one that was like a thousand pounds more expensive. And what they tried is, is there's a sales technique that you can use, it's called the fear of loss. So you go, right, we've only got one left, but it's a really expensive one, and somebody's probably going to buy it, which makes you go, oh, good salesman, thank you for telling me this, you've saved my life, make me spend that extra £1,000. No, 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 no. No. Just, no. I'm already in the shop, I'm already sweating my tits off. Just behave yourself, sunshine. If you've not got the one that I want, I'm fucking off, Jack. That's one. Uh, relates to the general public one more time. What is it with people in shop, walking around shopping centres that just barge into? I'm not joking. It is like some sort of secret martial art that I know fuck all about. You can be walking in a straight line, and it's almost like somebody veers towards you, and they're walking elbows out like this, and it's like bang, 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 and they smack into you. And then don't apologise to you. Or you stood in a shop looking at something, and then some ignorant fucker walks in front of you and looks at the thing that you're looking at. And then when you go, oh sorry, excuse me, I'm terribly sorry, I'll just they turn around and look at you like you have literally just said to them, Hello, good stranger, I have some syphilis. Would you like to take some? It just, what the fuck? How is it that people are that rude? Why? Just what manners? Manners is just not that hard! Just have some manners whilst you're wearing your fucking sunglasses inside with your fucking claw feet in your open toed sandals and your short shorts on looking like a knob. <sighs> I feel cleansed now I've got that off my chest. Anyways, that is going to do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Random Monday ramblings. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to click the like button. If you are new to my channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back with some gameplay for the remainder of the week. I love you all. Thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Peace!